So it's currently 1.52 a.m. and I've decided this is the perfect time to film a video and discuss the reasons why I'd still pull for Gaswa. <laughs> Hi, how's that? I'm still in here. It has been a while since I've created a video like this, but I've been really passionate about Genshin Impact 80, so I've decided why not? Also, English isn't really my first language, so if I commit any grammatical errors, I'm sorry, but I'll do my best to express my opinions the best way that I can. So as I've said earlier, I'll discuss my reasons, my personal reasons, why I'd still pull for Kazuha. Despite all the videos, all the opinions discussing that, he said actually worth your Prima Gems. Kind of like the Albedo situation from before, but look where Albedo is right now. And I would just like to reiterate that these are my opinions. If you don't think Kazuo is actually worth it, if you don't think Kazuo's elemental damage bonus would be uh, enough to make a difference on your team, then don't vote for him. But as for me, I actually need a 5 star support since most of my 5 star characters are actually uh, DPS characters. Since I failed to get Penti and Shangli, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing their names. So, yeah, I think I need another sub DPS 5 star character. I mean, I already have Sinchro, Fischl, Leona, so close. I think it would, it would just be fun. Most especially since I've already, had, uh, I've already had a glimpse of his gameplay. The first reason I'm pulling for Kazuo is because he's from Inazuma. And as of the moment, that's the closest thing we could get in experiencing Inazuma. And that's enough reason for me. <laughs> I believe Kazuha would be enough to quench the thirst that we have, that I have, for Inazuma content. My second reason for pulling for Kazuha is, as I said earlier, I'm lacking the proper sub DPS character or support character, so he would be perfect for the role. And there's a rumor going around that Bennett is actually part of his banner, so if that becomes true, then I'd be hitting two birds with one stone. And finally, the main reason why I'm pulling for Kazuha is because I simply like the character. I mean, I like the playstyle, I like the design, I like the fact that he's Animo, and that's simply it. That's the rule that I apply with every banner that I wish on. I understand that we should be mindful on how we spend our primogens, but when it comes to support characters, I believe they're worth it. I mean, there's already a shortage when it comes to support characters, and Look at how useful Venti and Zhongli is up until now. So I believe they would hold a special place, most especially in the future. And comparing it to DPS characters, there's actually a lot. And every time Genshin Impact releases a new character, it's usually stronger than the previous one. I mean, I personally think Ganyu is the strongest, but I'm not here to start a debate. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't really go for the strongest character, but... I simply go for the characters that I would enjoy since there isn't really that much reward on being the strongest uh, in Genshin, it's PvE. Those are my deciding factors on which banner I choose to wish on and I believe yours is different so let me know in the comment section how you decide on which banner to wish on. I wouldn't really stress out myself that much when it comes to characters so that I could actually continue enjoying the game. <laughs> So that's it. Those are my thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below so we could discuss. When Kazuha is released 5 days from now and he turns out to be actually extremely powerful, then wow, that would be such a nice bonus. I mean, I've set my expectations quite low, so nothing to go but up. 